Welcome to episode eight of our Hoka NAZ Elite Fall 2021 Workout Wednesday series, where we take you guys through some of the different workouts that we do here in Flagstaff and sort of explain um, to you guys how you can do them yourselves wherever you may be. Uh, so today's session is the Monteghetti Fartlek named after Steve Monteghetti, one of Australia's greatest distance runners of all time, and Australia has a lot of them. Uh, Steve ran 208.16 for the marathon, so he knows what he's doing. And this is back in the day, in the 90s. Uh, he ran in the 90s, early 2000s. And Steve did this workout almost every week. I've actually read quite a few of his training logs. And um, I'm friends with Lee Troop, uh, who was a contemporary of, of Steve's. They raced together and trained together quite a bit. And Lee did this workout all the time. Lee has his athletes do this workout, I know. So it's it's... Nothing new. It's been around a long time. It's very simple, but it's very, very effective. And I like simple and I like effective. So the workout goes like this. Two times 90 seconds with 90 seconds recovery. Four times 60 seconds with 60 seconds recovery. Four times 30 seconds with 30 seconds recovery. And four times 15 seconds with 15 seconds recovery. So it's continuous. It doesn't take very long. It's pretty quick. And... The efforts are, I mean, according to most things you read, um, Steve, I mean, depending on the season, I think he did this at, at, at different effort levels, but in general, you're, you're, you're thinking 5K race effort for the hard um, repeat portions of, of the fartlek. And then for the rest interval, of course, the fitter you are, the quicker you can probably keep the rest interval going. Uh, but if this kind of workout is new to you, you can absolutely jog this uh, very easily. Even walk it, actually, if it's if this is very very new to you. So, I think that's the that's the best place to play with this workout as you get used to it and get fitter over time. Is that rest interval having that be just a little quicker um, so that the overall workout is a little bit harder? But again, two times ninety, four times sixty, four times thirty, four times fifteen, and. Ideally, as the repeats get shorter, the 30s and especially the 15s, you're cranking those pretty good. Uh, but the recovery is very short. With only 15 seconds recovery, you're barely recovered and you're going again. And this workout, I, I wanted to bring it into the fold here uh, as a part of this series because many of the workouts we've shared with you seem very long and perhaps very daunting. But that doesn't mean that every single workout we do in marathon training is long and daunting. You also need to work on uh, a little bit of quicker pace, uh, helps your running economy, helps your overall fitness, gets the heart rate way up, and, and it's just fun, it's just different. We can't do the same thing workout after workout uh, and not get stale. Uh, we need to give ourselves different stimulus over time and that's for our physical benefit, but also our mental benefit. I think if you're doing long workout, long workout, long workout, and then you've got the Monteghetti Fartlek coming up, you look forward to the Monteghetti Fartlek because it's something different. And there's there's a, a lot to be said for that. So that's today's session. Easy peasy, the Monteghetti Fartlek. I could tell you, or I would tell you that you could throw this in at almost any point in your training, early on, middle, late, works all the time. Steve himself did it throughout his entire training cycle, sometimes once a week uh, throughout an entire training cycle. So maybe that should tell you something. Uh, it's, it's a pretty darn good workout. Give it a shot. 